Have you ever wondered why some people seem to be a complete nightmare for narcissists? What if I told you that spiritually awakened Sigma empaths are the ultimate challenge for narcissists, and here's why. In the realm of personal relationships and psychological dynamics, the clash between narcissists and spiritually awakened Sigma empaths is nothing short of intense. Narcissists thrive on manipulation control and exploiting vulnerabilities. On the other hand, spiritually awakened Sigma empaths possess a unique combination of self-awareness, resilience, and inner strength. This makes them extraordinarily difficult for narcissists to dominate or influence. In today's video, we'll delve into the key characteristics that make spiritually awakened Sigma empaths the narcissist's worst nightmare. We'll explore how their commitment to personal growth, self-care, and a deep sense of self-awareness disrupts the manipulative tactics employed by narcissists. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of why these individuals are so challenging for narcissists and how their spiritual awakening equips them to stand strong against emotional manipulation. Let's dive in. Number 1. Expanding Horizons Imagine you're at a crossroads and you've just picked up a book that promises to expand your understanding of the world. This book isn't just any book, it's a gateway to self-growth and endless possibilities. For a spiritually awakened Sigma empath, this quest for knowledge and personal development is a daily pursuit. They're not just sitting back and waiting for life to unfold, they're actively seeking ways to grow, learn, and better themselves. Consider Alex, a spiritually awakened Sigma empath. After enduring a difficult relationship with a narcissist, Alex didn't let the experience define them. Instead, they dove into new hobbies, took up painting, and even started studying philosophy. With each new skill and piece of knowledge, Alex felt a renewed sense of purpose and self-worth. This active pursuit of personal growth kept Alex's mind and spirit engaged, leaving little room for the narcissist's attempts to undermine their confidence. For narcissists, the usual tactics of making someone feel worthless or questioning their value rely on exploiting insecurities. However, when faced with someone like Alex, who is constantly expanding their horizons and working on self-improvement, these tactics fall flat. The more Alex learned and achieved, the more resilient they became. The narcissist's attempts to devalue Alex's self-worth were simply ineffective because Alex had built a strong, unshakable foundation of self-esteem through their continuous personal development. In essence, the spiritually awakened Sigma empath's commitment to learning and growing acts as a shield against the narcissist's manipulative strategies. By investing in themselves and embracing new opportunities, they make it harder for anyone to shake their sense of self. Number 2. Search for meaning. Picture Sam. A spiritually awakened Sigma empath, sitting quietly in a sunlit park with a journal and a cup of tea. While the world around him buzzes with noise and distractions, Sam is deep in thought, reflecting on life's big questions, what is my purpose? Why am I here? For Sam, this journey into the depths of self-discovery is not just a hobby, it's a profound quest for meaning that shapes every aspect of his life. Sam's introspective journey began after leaving a tumultuous relationship with a narcissist. Instead of dwelling on past hurts or letting the narcissist's manipulations weigh him down, Sam channeled his energy into understanding himself and his place in the world. He read books, attended spiritual workshops, and spent time in nature, all in search of answers that resonated with his soul. This deep focus on his personal quest for meaning became his primary concern, pushing aside any room for the narcissist's influence. For a narcissist, who thrives on creating chaos and exploiting others' vulnerabilities, Sam's unwavering dedication to his existential journey is a significant challenge. The narcissist's usual tricks playing mind games or fostering self-doubt become ineffective when faced with someone whose primary goal is self-discovery and personal growth. Sam's focus on understanding himself and his purpose gives him a powerful sense of direction, leaving little space for the narcissist's attempts to manipulate or control him. In the end, the spiritually awakened Sigma empath's relentless search for meaning acts as a shield against the narcissist's tactics. By prioritizing his quest for personal understanding, Sam maintains a clear sense of self, rendering the narcissist's efforts to sow confusion or doubt completely futile. Number 3. Seen Through Pretense 
Imagine Emma, a spiritually awakened Sigma empath, attending a social gathering where everyone seems to be on their best behavior. The room is filled with people projecting perfect images of themselves, but Emma's keen sense of self-awareness allows her to see beyond these facades. She's not fooled by the superficial charm or the grand gestures. Instead, Emma's deep introspection and understanding of herself give her the ability to discern what's real and what's merely a mask. Emma's journey to this level of self-awareness wasn't easy. It involved countless hours of self-reflection, meditation, and honest conversations with herself about her strengths and weaknesses. This inner work enabled her to recognize when others, including narcissists, were putting on a show to hide their true selves. Unlike the narcissists who manipulate others with their carefully crafted facades, Emma could see past these illusions and understand the deeper motivations behind people's actions. For a narcissist who relies on deception and creating a false narrative to control others, Emma's ability to see through pretense is a major obstacle. Narcissists often use charm and pretense to exploit vulnerabilities and manipulate emotions. However, Emma's self-awareness acts as a shield against these tactics. She can easily detect when someone is being insincere or trying to pull the wool over her eyes, making it incredibly challenging for the narcissist to deceive or control her. In essence, the spiritually awakened Sigma Empath's deep sense of self-awareness serves as a powerful defense mechanism. By seeing through pretense and recognizing the truth behind people's masks, Emma protects herself from the narcissist's manipulative behavior. This ability to discern authenticity from facade not only strengthens her resilience, but also undermines the narcissist's attempts to dominate her. Number 4. Value of Solitude Think of Sarah a spiritually awakened Sigma empath who finds solace in the quiet moments of her day. Every morning she carves out time for herself, whether it's sipping coffee on her balcony or taking a peaceful walk in the park. This time alone isn't just a routine, it's a vital part of how she recharges and processes the whirlwind of emotions and experiences from her life. Sarah learned the importance of solitude after her relationship with a narcissist left her feeling drained and overwhelmed. The narcissist's constant demands for attention and emotional energy made it difficult for Sarah to find any peace. Instead of letting these demands consume her, Sarah made a conscious choice to prioritize her alone time. She understood that this solitude was crucial for her well-being and personal growth. The conflict with the narcissist is glaringly evident when their need for control clashes with Sarah's need for space. Narcissists often resist boundaries and push for constant interaction, leaving their victims feeling exhausted and unimportant. But Sarah's commitment to protecting her alone time meant she could push back against these demands. She didn't let the narcissist's manipulative tactics invade her personal space. Instead, she reinforced her boundaries and made sure she had the time she needed to rejuvenate and reflect. Ultimately, Sarah's dedication to valuing her solitude acts as a powerful form of self-care. By ensuring she has time to herself, she effectively guards against the narcissist's attempts to infringe upon her personal space. This commitment not only helps her maintain her emotional health, but also makes it much harder for the narcissist to control or exhaust her. Number 5. Self-Priority Meet Jake, a spiritually awakened Sigma empath who has always been the first to lend a hand or listen to a friend in need. For a long time, Jake struggled with putting others' needs ahead of his own. In past relationships, especially with a narcissist, he found it hard to set boundaries and often ended up feeling drained and neglected. It was a constant battle to balance his own well-being with the demands and expectations of those around him. But Jake's spiritual awakening brought a new perspective. He realized that to be truly helpful and present for others, he needed to take care of himself first. So, he began making small changes, setting clear boundaries about his availability, carving out time for self-care, and learning to say no when necessary. This shift was challenging at first. Jake felt guilty about prioritizing his own needs and worried about disappointing others. However, he soon discovered that by placing himself at the center of his own life, he became stronger and more resilient. For Jake, prioritizing his own needs meant he could no longer be easily manipulated or overshadowed by the narcissist's demands. The narcissist, who thrived on exploiting others' generosity and bending them to their will, 
found it increasingly difficult to influence Jake. By firmly setting boundaries and focusing on his own well-being, Jake made it clear that he would no longer be a passive victim to the narcissist's schemes. In the end, Jake's commitment to self-priority not only improved his own life, but also weakened the narcissist's control over him. By recognizing his own needs and ensuring they were met, Jake stood firm against the narcissist's attempts to overshadow or manipulate him. His newfound focus on self-care and boundaries became a powerful tool for maintaining his own strength and independence. Number 6. Self-care and self-love. Picture Laura, a spiritually awakened Sigma empath, gently tending to herself after ending a relationship with a narcissist. Laura has spent years healing and rediscovering her sense of self-worth. Each day, she practices self-care routines that might seem small to others, but are deeply significant to her. Whether it's taking a relaxing bath, journaling her thoughts, or simply enjoying a quiet moment with a good book, Laura is dedicated to nurturing her own well-being. After her painful experience with the narcissist, Laura understood that rebuilding her self-esteem required more than just moving on it demanded a conscious effort to love and care for herself. She learned to set aside time for activities that brought her joy and peace, and she started treating herself with the kindness she had always extended to others. This journey of self-love became her sanctuary, a place where she could heal and reaffirm her worth. For a narcissist, who often thrives on eroding their victim's confidence and self-esteem, Laura's commitment to self-care and self-love is a formidable defense. The narcissist's attempts to undermine Laura's self-worth are met with her reinforced sense of value and self-respect. When the narcissist tried to make Laura doubt herself or feel unworthy, she was able to brush off these tactics, knowing that her sense of self was built on a solid foundation of self-love. Laura's focus on self-care not only helped her recover from the past, but also made her less vulnerable to the narcissist's manipulative games. By prioritizing her own well-being and maintaining a strong sense of self-worth, Laura turned the tables on the narcissist. Her resilience and self-respect acted as a shield, making it clear that their attempts to belittle or control her would have no lasting impact. Number 7. Taking Responsibility Imagine Mark, a spiritually awakened Sigma empath who has just faced a tough situation at work. When things didn't go as planned, instead of pointing fingers or making excuses, Mark took full responsibility for his part in the outcome. He acknowledged his mistakes, learned from them, and made a plan to improve. This acceptance of responsibility is a hallmark of Mark's personal growth and self-awareness. In contrast, the narcissists Mark encountered in the past were always quick to blame others for their failures. They would shift the blame onto him or anyone else, avoiding accountability at all costs. This blame shifting created a toxic environment where Mark felt constantly undermined and manipulated. But Mark's shift towards taking responsibility marked a turning point. He realized that owning his choices and actions was not a weakness, but a powerful form of empowerment. By embracing personal accountability, Mark made it much harder for narcissists to control or manipulate him. The narcissist's usual tactics of shifting blame and creating confusion couldn't take hold because Mark stood firm in his own sense of responsibility. He refused to be dragged into their web of deceit and blame. Instead, he used his own accountability as a way to stay clear-headed and resilient. Mark's approach to handling challenges with integrity and responsibility not only strengthened his own self-confidence, but also diminished the narcissist's power over him. His ability to own his decisions and actions turned the tables on those who tried to exploit him, making it evident that their attempts to manipulate or blame him were ineffective. This personal empowerment gave Mark a strong foundation to resist control and maintain his independence. Number 8. Living in the Present Imagine Lisa, a spiritually awakened Sigma empath, sitting by a serene lake, fully immersed in the beauty of the moment. She's not dwelling on past mistakes or worrying about what might go wrong in the future. Instead, she is savoring the tranquility around her, taking in the sounds of nature and feeling a deep sense of peace. This practice of living in the present moment is a cornerstone of Lisa's life. For Lisa, 
Embracing the present isn't just about enjoying peaceful moments, it's a crucial tool for maintaining her emotional balance. After a challenging relationship with a narcissist, Lisa learned that fixating on past issues or worrying about future uncertainties only fueled her anxiety. By focusing on the here and now, she found a way to ground herself and reduce the emotional impact of the narcissist's tactics. Narcissists often try to create drama by bringing up old issues or making threats about the future, hoping to unsettle their victims. But Lisa's commitment to living in the present makes these tactics less effective. When the narcissist attempts to dredge up past grievances or stir up fears about what's to come, Lisa remains centered in the present moment. This focus on her current experience and immediate reality helps her stay calm and resilient, regardless of the narcissist's efforts to provoke a reaction. Lisa's ability to live in the present shields her from the narcissist's attempts to manipulate her emotions. By prioritizing her own peace and staying grounded in the here and now, she effectively limits the narcissist's power to control or distress her. This present-focused mindset allows Lisa to navigate her interactions with confidence and clarity, free from the shadows of past conflicts or the anxieties of future uncertainties. Number 9. Lack of Competition Consider Daniel, a spiritually awakened Sigma empath who is working on a community garden project with a group of friends. Rather than seeing this project as a chance to outshine others or claim superiority, Daniel approaches it with a spirit of collaboration. He believes that working together to achieve a common goal is far more rewarding than competing against each other. His focus is on creating something beautiful and meaningful, not on who gets the most credit. In contrast, Daniel's former experiences with narcissists were marked by a constant need to compete and dominate. Narcissists often thrive on comparing themselves to others, seeking to be seen as superior, and creating conflict to prove their worth. This desire for competition can be exhausting and toxic, as it pits people against each other and undermines genuine connections. Daniel's belief in collaboration over competition effectively disrupts the narcissist's strategy. When faced with Daniel, the narcissist's attempts to create rivalry or assert dominance fall flat. Daniel's focus on working harmoniously with others means he's not interested in playing the narcissist's games or feeding into their need for superiority. Instead, he maintains a positive, inclusive approach that celebrates collective success rather than individual victory. By avoiding competition and embracing collaboration, Daniel undermines the narcissist's need to compete and dominate. His perspective fosters an environment where everyone works together toward shared goals, rendering the narcissist's tactics of division and rivalry ineffective. In this way, Daniel's approach to relationships and teamwork serves as a powerful counter to the narcissist's manipulative strategies, reinforcing his own sense of self-worth and purpose. Number 10. Embracing life fully. Meet Olivia, a spiritually awakened Sigma empath who has recently taken up painting as a way to express herself. Each weekend, she spends hours in her studio, lost in the joy of creating vibrant artwork. Olivia has made a conscious choice to embrace life fully, focusing on what brings her happiness and growth, rather than trying to meet others' expectations or please everyone around her. In the past, Olivia often found herself trying to fit into molds that others created for her. The narcissists she encountered would push her to conform to their demands, making her feel as though she had to sacrifice her own desires to keep the peace. But with her spiritual awakening, Olivia realized that true fulfillment comes from pursuing her own passions and living authentically. She no longer feels the need to appease others or seek validation from them. This proactive approach to life where Olivia chooses to prioritize her own happiness and personal growth creates a powerful barrier against narcissists. The narcissists who once tried to control or exploit her now find themselves frustrated by her unwavering focus on what truly matters to her. Olivia's commitment to living life on her own terms means she isn't easily swayed by the narcissists' attempts to undermine her or draw her into their drama. By embracing life fully and following her own path, Olivia not only finds joy and fulfillment, but also makes it clear that she won't be manipulated or controlled. Her vibrant, self-directed life becomes a testament to her strength and independence, leaving the narcissists powerless to affect her happiness or sense of self. 
In the end, Olivia's choice to live life to the fullest serves as a powerful statement of resilience and personal empowerment. In today's video, we've explored why a spiritually awakened Sigma empath is truly a narcissist's nightmare. From their relentless pursuit of self-growth and learning to their commitment to living fully in the present moment, these individuals embody a strength that disrupts the narcissist's attempts to control and manipulate. We've seen how their dedication to self-care and their refusal to compete with others make them resilient and self-assured, while their ability to embrace responsibility and prioritize their own happiness further solidifies their position of power. If you see yourself in any of these traits, or if you're on a journey towards spiritual awakening, take a moment to reflect on your own experiences. Consider how embracing self-awareness and personal growth could transform your interactions and protect you from negative influences. The path to spiritual awakening is not just about personal development, but also about reclaiming your power from those who seek to undermine you. Remember, spiritually awakened Sigma empaths are a force to be reckoned with. Their resilience, self-awareness, and commitment to living authentically make them a formidable challenge for any narcissist. By continuing to embrace these qualities, you not only enhance your own life, but also set a powerful example of strength and independence. Keep moving forward, stay true to yourself, and let your light shine brightly in a world that needs more of your genuine spirit. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.